so. I feel like the city is kind of like this painting. Like you think you know one little section and then you look somewhere else. And Buenos dias amigos, desde la ciudad de Mexico. And this video is not in Spanish. It but. is in English. <laughs> we just met up with Luis, who's one of our probably oldest followers, maybe. We have a, such a full day of fun, but I think our first stop includes a bakery, which uh, may be the best thing first. Let's go. Our first stop, stop. We're at a Mazapanaria. Say that three times fast <laughs> or at all. Uh, Greg and I love Mazapan. Mazapan? Mazapan. Forget it. <laughs> Either way, we love it. We're not, we don't really know much about it. So this is our first stop. I think Luis knows the way to our hearts. This is, uh, this is our friend Luis. I'm sure you've seen his comments uh, down below. And uh, so tell us a little bit about like what is a Mazapanaria for other uh, uh, potential Canadians or U.S. citizens that are watching. Okay, a mazapaneria is a place where you can find mazapanes and they made it here and uh, it's a, a very traditional candy and it's very tasty. Well, it's like, is it, what, what's the candy made out of? It's made of a, a cacahuates, okay. that is peanuts. peanuts, okay, and other ingredients. Okay, uh, that depends on the kind of every kind of mazapan, okay. and it's uh, it's delicious. We're just okay. gonna try one. This is almond paste. I think I know I'll like this, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. It tastes like what's inside of an almond croissant. Oh, mama cita. All right, Greg's turn. This is made with marmalade of egg, egg marmalade. Well. It's pretty tasty. Similar to the other one. A little eggy. <laughs> I think the first stop may be our favorite. We got some uh, take home goodies. I got an empanada. I think there's monster pan on the inside. I'm not sure. It looks how cute it is. <laughs> uh, how much? We didn't get too much. I feel proud of our. This is self-control, if you know us, but that's only because we're going to a bakery next. And we can always come back here. Yeah. All right, and now where are we going? We are headed to a bakery, because we need more pawn in our lives. Okay, we've made it to our second stop, Panaderia Ideal, <laughs> I think. Um, this is my next wedding cake. Oh, your I next think. wedding? <laughs> when I bring Mary and Greg. <laughs> and they have so many cakes and like cold gelatin things which I haven't seen so Cookies. it seems a bit different but we've seen people carrying boxes of this stuff all day yes so let's go get ourselves a box We thought it couldn't get any better, you guys. We found a hidden secret back room. It's everywhere. Pinch me. <laughs> okay, Miweta. What? How do we choose? Well, let's just try one of each. Let's start with one of each. <laughs> and we'll pick our favorite. <laughs> just a bite of bite of each, and we should be good, huh? All right. How do you? Got our eyes on the prize. I wanted to get a couple more, but I'm gonna finish these first. <laughs> we are here at Anedria Ideal, and is this place like? Pretty, pretty popular. Is this a normal size panaderia in Mexico, in Mexico City, or? Well, this is one of the biggest uh, okay. panaderia. It's bigger than the regular panaderia, but it's a very popular, very traditional panaderia. Okay. Very old uh -huh. panaderia. Uh, the panaderia thing, it's a very, uh, it's a tradition from the French people uh, okay. who came here, and, and uh, we love, that's why we love bread. You, you can find in this place bread that you can find in other places in the city and it's very, it's very good bread. And do you, do you uh, like, would you come here, like let's say you live, you live on this block, you live close, would you come here just on like a weekly basis? Is it for special occasions? Like when do you come here? Every day. Every day, <laughs> every okay. Day, every day because we love to uh, have bread for the dinner or the breakfast, uh -huh. you know, you can, Dinner. You can uh, have a breakfast with eggs and, and milk, but with bread too. Perfect, What's perfect. Your 
Yeah, what's your favorite pan? My favorite pan, pan dulce, my favorite bread, it's a one that we call piedra. Uh -huh. it's, it's a stone in English. Uh, you know, I, I know it's not a very attractive thing, <laughs> but it's a very good bread made with uh, chocolate and, and other ingredients. Perfect, maybe after these four we can get to that. Alright, basically I think what this part we're in is obviously the cake section. It's kind of like the, the, the glass thing at Walmart where they show all the cakes and you pick which one you want. It's kind of like that except on steroids. Here we go, just to start some controversy, Jeevas Automedica. <laughs> We have made it outside the uh, National Museum of Art, the, in Spanish. Munal, Museo Nacional de Arte. Much, much better than I could say it. <laughs> I, I, just need, I just need to carry Lewis around everywhere with me. <laughs> All right, what, uh, which one are you gonna go for first? Oh, Huerasita. <laughs> Not about to be a Huerasita. <laughs> Huerita, I suppose. This is Luis's favorite, this is what he recommended. It's really good. It's flaky, but also dense. This I don't know how they can be both, but... Well, this isn't the one he said is his favorite, but he recommended this to us. Oh, yeah, sorry. It is pretty good. One out of ten? Zero out of ten? Mm-hmm. That might change depending on the next ones, but to me this is like a nine. Nine. Alright, All right, this is Greg's pick. I don't know. To me, this looks like the most boring one. Could be surprising, though. It does though. Like, it's like a little hockey puck. It looks, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. You want to take back those I words? Concur. It's actually pretty good. It tastes like melty shortbread, like in a Christmas tin. No more for you. This one was pretty good. It kind of reminded me of, you know those cookies you eat around Christmas time that come in a tin? I just said that. Did you? Christmas tin cookies. Did you say that on, yes. you say that on camera? Yes. <laughs> wow, whoops. <laughs> That's an insight to our relationship right there. All, All right. right, I think the third one's gonna be a charm. This, this one's really heavy. It looks kind of like puff pastry with chocolate with a fried egg on top. Okay. How's this one? You know what? It's kind of like an egg or like something on top of it. <laughs> Too soon. I just want this. Oh, that was good. Forget the pastry. It's uh, Derazno, aka Duranzo. You guys can leave me here. How would you drink that one? On my sweet bread scale, I would give it around a six. Okay. I thought that was like maybe a seven yeah. or eight. It was really good. Thank you. It was, it was really good, but uh, not quite as good as the first one. The second yeah. one was an eight. So, so far we're getting... The second one was an eight. For me, it was an the eight. First, yeah, the first, first one's, one's been the best. best. We have but one more to go. Check out this stuffed shell of it's heaven. A, it looks. This one I have pretty high expectations for, which could be dangerous. Oh, look at that goo. Oh, it looks like honey. This looks pretty good. All right, let's give it a spite. I don't even know how you eat this. Neither, but we're gonna try. Oh. <laughs> nice bite. This this one was good. It was very similar. It was the same bread as this one. Very very flaky. Uh, Luis made a good point that it would be good with coffee. Uh, very flaky. Hillary didn't like the flakiness as much. I think I like this one. I would put these on the same level. A seven. But this one... Ten. I changed my vote. This is a ten. This is a ten for me. Well, I think it is almost nap time. Because <laughs> I just ate my weight in sweet bread. <laughs> I found what I did like and what I don't like though. So I think uh, it's day three and I'm already finding where to go in the bakery. So I think that's... Early on, I'm gonna I'm just gonna balloon out. I don't know friends. if we said anything in yesterday's vlog. Like last day, your stomach's kind of been hurting. Do you think this is a good idea? Oh, my stomach has been killing me, but I think it's nothing that a little bread can't help, right? <laughs> sweet bread. Finish our sweet bread. Next is a nap. <laughs> Kidding. We won't make you watch that. We are going to meet the real Katrina, as Luis told us. <laughs> uh, I think it's a painting from by Diego Rivera. And I'm excited because as you guys saw my, uh, I'm curious to see how close I was. <laughs> as your face painting? Yeah. Not that close, I fear. <laughs> inside the Palacio de Bellas Artes and this place is incredible. It's huge. It's open and free on Sundays and they also have a uh, lots of things going on like different shows that I really want to come to but 
we're on the hunt for Katrina. We'll be back here. We'll be back. Here's the real thing. It is massive. I mean, I can't get this in one shot. Let's see. Give you a close up. You could sit and stare at this for hours and find your stuff. We have Frida here, Diego Rivera, Katrina, uh, a whole bunch of other people I'm still learning about. Benito Juarez is up there. Uh, Luis told me about told me about this general. Uh, ex-president dictator so this is the afternoon Sunday afternoon Saturday afternoon? No, the oh. painting, the oh. mural is called oh. A Sunday Afternoon oh. in Alameda, I think. Uh -huh. Something similar to that. I thought you were talking about what day I've it is. I've never seen any famous painting in my life, and so it feels a bit fancy. This is setting the bar pretty high, though. This is setting the bar huge because this mural is enormous and it's beautiful. Yes. And I think there's so much in this city, you guys. <laughs> It's been half of one day and we've had quite a journey that started with uh, Mazapan. <laughs> I so. feel like the city is kind of like this painting, like you think you know one little section and then you look somewhere else and there's something different and another something or somebody to learn about. Okay, I'm not sure we were supposed to be videoing in there. We <laughs> thought we got the video permission, but uh, either way, I think that is all we have for you guys for this video. <laughs> We have like five days worth of video in one day, but that's all you're gonna get for this one. So, uh, anything else you'd like to add? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Comment below and let us know yeah, all that we missed out. I guess. Yeah, let us know if you guys have seen any other Diego Rivera art. We don't really know much about him, but it doesn't seem like he was such a nice person. So I need to learn more about him. But Luis has been a, a good guide so yes, far. Yes, he's the tour guide. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell that way you get notified every time we post a video, and we'll see you. Mañana.